The government moved to slap a 16% tax on all pest control products has been termed as inappropriate with stakeholders saying it might affect the quality of export. The introduction of a 16% on uh, agrochemicals has a huge impact on our sector. Uh, most people do not know that our margins are really small and if you have uh, an added tax then what it means is that uh, it's eating into the margins and it becomes very difficult. Uh, especially, we, uh, we are almost at the very end, I hope so, with the COVID-19. We have gone through a difficult patch where liquidity has been a problem for uh, most growers, exporters. And therefore, anything, any additional cost to the growers and exporters definitely has an immediate impact on the bottom line. The concern comes at a time when the horticulture industry is recovering from the effects of COVID-19. According to KFC CEO Clement Tulezi, they are engaging the government over the move to review the new tax under the 2021 tax bill. Tulezi noted that this will hamper the growth of the horticulture sector, which was one of the leading foreign exchange earners and employed over 200,000 people directly. We are looking at recovering the sector. We had projected that 2023 will have been full recovery and we are committed to that, but we are asking government to give us a holiday on some of these taxes so that uh, uh, growers, exporters have a way in which uh, they can be able to get more liquid uh, into the companies they run uh, so that they can remain afloat. We are dealing with many other issues, so if we don't have enough liquidity, even issues concerning uh, challenges of pests and diseases, um, it becomes very difficult for us to access some of those products if there is no liquidity. So that is the immediate impact that we are seeing with the 16%. This emerged in Naivasha during the launch of pest control product, a new fungicide to be used by farmers in dealing with powdery mildew in roses. While loading the new fungicide, Tulezi noted that stringent rules introduced by the EU were a concern to flower farmers. Tulezi is optimistic that the sector would fully recover by 2023, following the near collapse two years ago caused by COVID-19. But we're optimistic from what we have seen from uh, the general statements of the new administration. I think they look very, uh, I would use the word, they look very friendly. Uh, to the agriculture sector and with that we are very confident that we can sit down with a, a new administration and be able to negotiate and see sense because this is a major sector in Kenya. Actually, if you look at our exports, it's just about tea and horticulture and therefore anything affecting any of these uh, sectors has to be taken very seriously by the government, uh, both at national and county. On his part, Patrick Ngogi from BASF East Africa said that the new product had been tested and was very effective in dealing with powdery mildew. This was echoed by his counterpart Sholei Romlao, who noted that the fungicide would help increase production, mainly among rose growers. So Dagonis for us is a brand new launch after almost 11 years of innovation for the preventative and curative use in the horticultural industry against powdery mildew, which is one of the diseases that affects our products quality, especially for the export market. And it is our hope that with the launch of this product, we are able to enable the local horticultural industry to obviously increase its exports to all the um, countries of destination, together with being able to carry all of its necessary certification when it leaves Kenya. The product Dagonis has been tried in Kenya, we've tried in Naivasha, we've tried in Mount Kenya region, that is in Timau, and uh, the results have been very good. It has compared well with the market standards, actually even exceeded, and that's why you can see there's a lot of excitement from growers. It's uh, a big promise uh, for the flower farms in terms of uh, the flower farmers in terms of producing quality flowers. The country earned 110 billion shillings last year from 104 billion shillings in 2020 with cut flowers accounting for 71% of the exports. Kind of Stefano, Ebru TV.